Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Rick Nether again. I'm uh, just basically getting out, messing around, make, thought I'd make a little video. A uh, friend of mine, uh, John, you know, down at the uh, Spain National Armory, he got in some uh, some gun cleaner. He wanted me to do a, a to try it out, see if it's any good. And asked me if I'd make a video with it. He was going to stock it, so I told him uh, I, I will. Uh, I got to look around my house. I didn't really have any dirty goods, so I figured I'd bring out my little old Ruger. It's stainless. I figured it would uh, show up on the camera real well. I'm gonna foul it up for you, and then we'll we'll clean it. We'll see if that stuff's worth uh, worth having. Uh, another thing on this video I wanted to to mention. I noticed. I looked and I saw that my my little channel is. It just passed 500 subscribers. I wanted to wait a little bit before I made this video because uh, sometimes my channel fluctuates. You know, it'll go up, go down. It's always done that, but uh, I just want to let you know that means a, uh, a lot to me. I've, uh, I, this is just a little rinky dink channel I film with a cell phone, and uh, to have people that actually follow me and support me, that, that means a lot. This, what you're seeing in these videos is a small part of my life. It's my recreation. Uh, besides that, I'm a full-time, you know, father, a homeowner, and an employee, industrial employee. So uh, this little time I get to get out and shoot special, and I like, I like sharing it with you. But uh, to, make, to avoid making the video too long, we'll go ahead and foul up this, uh, this firearm. I'll show some shooting, and then we'll clean it. Gun's getting a little dirty. Did some hitting, did some messing. I'm mainly just trying to foul up the gun. I know that sounds retarded, but it's all for entertainment. All right, I think it's dirty enough we can clean it. Twenty-two Magnum. All right, enough of that. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've had some fun. We got the firearm sufficiently fouled, and I did some misses. I did a lot of editing, but I left a lot of the misses in there. Uh, it was six minutes, and I had to trim it down so the video wouldn't be so long. But what, what we're going to do, this is the uh, cleaner, AMS oil firearm cleaner that my friend uh, John has in his shop. So we fouled this uh, revolver. We're going to check. Pointed down range, revolver is empty. All right. And I forgot, left my little magnetic tray at home, but I'm gonna take the cylinder out. You can see the cylinder is highly dirty. And uh, you can probably see in here, revolvers are just, they shoot dirty. So what I figured I'd do, use a little bit of this cleaner and we'll see if we can uh, clean some of that carbon off. Matter of fact, while I was putting this video together, my buddy John called me, and uh, he's wanting me to come down to the, uh, these are backwards, come down to the, the shop. He said he got something special in there. My wife kind of wanting me to stay away from there because I usually spend money when I walk in, but uh, I'll go ahead and try this cleaner on this firearm, and we'll see if it's worth having. Let's see. All right, now I'm going to lay out a, uh, a blue towel. Now, oil, big part of my living I make with oil, you know, lubrication of uh, machinery on the job. So I've got a few opinions on different lubricants. Normally, I'd, I'll be honest with you, I just use uh, motor oil and... Uh, I mean, it's cheap, like right here. It's what I got in my little, you know, oil squirter. And all that is is just some of this uh, synthetic, semi-synthetic uh, oil. You know, it's uh, motorcraft. It's what I use in my little Ford Mustang that I, I use to drive back and forth to work. I uh, use synthetic in that old pickup over there. I know it sounds crazy, but... Yeah, well, you can see it's 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 removing it, so I guess it's a pretty good cleaner. But uh, I'm just trying to get some of that old carbon and junk off there. I'll let it sit. It's cylinder. You know, cylinders, they usually get pretty bad, dirty, and I don't know how well this will show up, but I figured it. I always use a little old bristle brush. That seems to be working. About as good as anything, I guess. Revolvers that, by nature, are dirty. Oh, I seem to be cleaning it up. All right. Clean these little cylinders out. It's kind of a quick and dirty, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of wanting to uh, go see what John's got in his shop. It takes a while to piece these videos together and try to trim them where they're a respectable length. But, I don't know, it's doable. Well, let's see. I got some 30 caliber uh, patchy. Got an oil mop too, though. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, well, that got her dirty. <laughs> I don't know. Clean these little old cylinders out. Mm 
Oh, it looked pretty good. Spray the whole gun down, see what it gives. Cleaning in these screws is kind of hard. I've had this pistol from or revolver for many, many, many years. Uh, looks like it cleaned it up pretty good. I don't know. She she'll shoot. Yeah, just a. Maybe a little drop of oil here and there. Don't take don't take much. Yeah. We'll get a little bit of it down in the inner workings. It's like a little old drop, you know, a little drop here, a little drop there. Anything that moves, slides, wipe off the excess, that's all you need. Well, it looks like it, it worked okay. Pretty good, pretty good cleaner. It'll work. I think it's okay. I don't know. I think I have more fun shooting than I did cleaning. Anyhow, uh, thank you very much for watching my video, putting up with me, and uh, support my channel. I plan to make some more videos in the future, but uh, just stay tuned. Sometime or another, uh, in the comments, leave uh, suggestions on other types of videos that you might want to see me do. And uh, I love feedback. I make every effort I can to, to reply to every comment on my videos, unless it's an outright troll. I usually do away with them, but most of my vid comments I get are pretty good. Uh, corrective criticism is always accepted. Uh, Max Hill gave me a pretty good little old chewing out <laughs> on one of my videos, and that's what encouraged me to build this bench and uh now max and i are friends and i uh, really appreciated him but uh anyhow thank you so much for watching i want to hope y'all have a wonderful weekend god bless you